the word Hanukkah comes from Hanukkah Tabait, which means dedication of the house. That's where the word Hanukkah comes from, from the Hebrew. Now you ask, what are we talking about? Well, remember before the, uh, after, uh, about 300 BC or so, the, the Greeks were in charge of in the area and they desecrated the, the, the temple. And they, they brought a pig into the temple and they said, this is your God and asked the Jews to, to worship him, which is totally un, unacceptable. So there was a group of warriors called the Maccabees. They came and they fought. They fought with the Greeks and they, they were able to kick them out. And they went to the temple and they cleansed the temple. They cleaned it and they found the menorah, the menorah with the seven arches. And, and then they didn't have oil. So they looked everywhere. They found one pot of oil, pure oil, olive oil, and they put it and it lasted for one day. And they needed a few days to, to produce new uh, virgin oil, olive oil. So uh, the next day they came, a miracle happened. That can had was full again. And for seven, for eight days, sorry, for eight days, God did a miracle. We call it Nes Hanukkah, the miracle of Hanukkah. And until they were able to bring uh, uh, pure oil that they produced. So we we always remember at home, this was a great uh, f festival because every day we light another candle, another candle for eight days, and it brought a lot of light. And we rejoice over the miracle that God did during that time. And this was a few hundred years before Jesus, before Yeshua came. Now, as a believer, you know, we remember, it says, I believe in John 10, if I'm not mistaken, that Yeshua, it was winter, and he came for the dedication of the temple. And people know, have no clue. Dedication of the temple in Hebrew is Hanukkah. So he celebrated Hanukkah. And more than that, he stood there and said, I am the light of the world. Can you imagine how people looked at him like, what? What is he talking about? You know, but he is the light of the world. He said, you see, you to, when we light the candles, by the way, as kids, I remember, we always take the middle one, the shamash, we call it. And from this every day, the middle one lights every day another candle. To me, who is the center? The, the one who is the light, when he touches us, we become also the light of the world. That's Yeshua. Jesus is the center of the menorah and, and, and the center of Hanukkah. So for me, it's always a very joyful, it's again, it's a joyful feast. And we, we celebrate for the miracle that God did in those days and how he used the Maccabees to fight and cleanse the temple. And of course, uh, we remember that Yeshua is the light. And again, it's a family thing. We get together in the evening, we light the candles, then we have a meal. So we, we enjoy the fellowship and the meal but of course the spiritual significance that we are the light of the world because he is the first. He is the light of the world and through him, we are his witnesses in this dark world today.